in addition to the um, structural differences and functional differences, there are developmental differences between the genders. Um, boys tend to learn to read nine months later than the average girl, and they gain the capacity for writing and forming words nine to twelve months later than girls. So even though they may be of the same age and we put them in the same classroom, the fact that we're expecting everybody to be at the same level may not bode well with what uh, we know about early childhood development. We know that uh, there are things above and beyond just the brain and how it functions that affects how students do in school. So psychological and environmental factors also play a role um, in the performance of, of boys or girls in school. And that includes things like their temperament, their family background, and the environment in which they grow up. Many concerns about boys' performance in school have arisen out of research that has um, surfaced recently. And some of that research is showing that boys are more likely than girls to have repeated a grade. They're more likely to be suspended at least once. Um, they complete high school at, um, they complete high school or drop out of high school more often than girls. And they make up 44% of college students, which is down from 58% in 1970. So these are some trends that researchers are seeing, and that's raising some concerns among educators. Other statistics that are alarming relate to special education and boys. Two-thirds of students in, spe in special ed are um, more likely to be boys. They are 80% of those diagnosed with emotional disturbances, 83% of the students with autism, and they're 2.5 times as likely to be diagnosed with ADHD. Why this is may not be totally known at this point, but it certainly raises some concerns about um, how we work with boys in school and why they might be diagnosed with these disabilities. Um, so what might be leading to all of a sudden this rise in concern over boys' performance in school? Um, it could be that we've become very focused on testing over the last 20 years, that there's been an increased emphasis in schools on reading and writing or language arts skills, which is not a strength area um, for boys. And the way it's taught may also have something to do with it. We also have an increased emphasis on seat time, less PE, less movement, and maybe that's contributing to how boys are performing in school. So what can schools do um, to support the learning of boys in our classrooms? Your article that you read this week um, indicated some possible ideas. Varying teaching strategies is one. Single-sex classrooms or schools is another. And then providing mentors for boys. Since we know that boys' brains are structured differently than girls, one of the things we could do is try to focus some of our instruction um, using strategies that tend to appeal to the learning style of boys. Symbols, abstractions, diagrams, pictures, objects moving through space, all are um, examples of the ways in which boys typically learn. Since we know that boys' brains are structured differently than girls, we should try to utilize some strategies that may support them in learning. For example, making our lessons more experiential and kinesthetic, using technology and visuals more, um, manipulatives, keeping our verbal directions short, and giving brain breaks so boys can get the necessary blood flow back to their brain. These are all strategies that um, might enhance students performance in school. Another possible solution to help um, support boys in learning 
is to have single-sex classrooms or schools, and that has become a movement recently. Um, there are at least, at last count, 185 public schools that now do some type of single-sex education. The Gurian Institute, um, which is sponsored by Michael Gurian, has teacher training programs to help teachers work with boys better. The Gates Foundation is focusing on high schools and helping boys is a huge part of their mission. So lots of things are being put on the table and this is one idea that definitely is gaining um, some support recently. Another strategy that is possibly a good approach